Hey guys, so we're back at it again. Welcome to the channel of the distinguished pinecone. So let's give Morland all the things that he wanted us to gather. What can I do for you, partner? I've got everything I need to build the uh the incredible diving mask. I think diving mask is enough. I won't quibble. Workbench is all yours. Whoa, there's a marvel. If it works, you'll let me try it? I want to get down there and get those embers. Assuming I don't drown. So what are you really looking for down there? It's hard to explain. Something that caused a malfunction in the apparatus that controls the old city. I think it started the flood. Well, I, I thought we started the flood. Like we sprung a trap while we were detected. Like I said, the dancing lights around us changed, turned to sea life. There was this flash of red. And the roar of water surging in. Wait, a flash of red? A, a red light. From a spot uh, near the grate on the floor where the water burst through. It was like a beacon. For a warning. Thanks. That might help. I hope it does. And good luck down there. Okay. Time to see if this thing works. Probably get a oh, guess list of 50. <laughs> so we need at least three dozen kegs. <laughs> Brown ale, maybe. Uh, no, no. For him, scrappers up. Are you planning a party? Budgeting for Moreland's funeral, thanks to you. I was this close. <sighs> we were gonna move on. Leave all this nonsense behind, and you come along, uh, you spark your wet noodle idea. It's going to work. <sighs> I've heard that before. So, uh, how does someone like you end up working for someone like Moreland? I work with Moreland. We got three equal claims in this venture. I saw one of his early shows. Back when it was just him and his inventions. Works of flame, lights, and shadows, all kinds of gizmos. Never seen the light. But the man is all spectacle. No sense. He bleeds shards like. You get the idea. Without me to handle the finances, his dreams would be sunk. More sunk. Wish we were back in the claim. Plenty of normal shows to do without the, the salvage from this blasted place. And yet, you're here, in the middle of the desert, delving for his dream. It was a good one. Sometimes, a dream has to die. This dream of Morland's... ...is going to get him killed. Let's say it doesn't. What happens after he gets the salvage down there? Then we put on the greatest show the world's ever seen. We'll have... We'll have special seating, premium ale, the works. Morland will do his... his light spectacle thing. Stemmer will get their eyes a sparkling with his tails, and I'll be selling tickets. <laughs> it's a nice thought, anyway. Moreland mentioned you were showman. What? An ostrom can't be anything other than a, a, a delver, tinker, or drunkard? <laughs> okay, sure. We are 
delvers too, but that is not our main source of income. Mostly, we go town to town, put them on shows. These shows, what are they? What happens at them? Tales and spectacle. Yeah, yeah. Moreland's got the technical know-how. Builds uh, all manner of inventions, whirly gigs of, of light and sound, cannons that, that, that shoot fire, showers of sparks and stemmer. Keeps them enthralled. Tales of adventure in the smoothest baritone. Yeah, that. And you? Me? Who do you think handles the financials for the whole blasted thing? <laughs> those two, eh, those two might have the, the sparks, but do you think they know their way around shards? <laughs> no, they don't. So Moreland was down in this ancient city, and... The three of us went down below. You? I can delve, too. Right. And, uh, then what happened? What do you think? Water rushed in, we ran. Then... Moreland built that blasted thing. Nearly got himself drowned. Twice. He... You want the finer details of his stupidity? You ask him. I'm always willing to engage in some commerce. I'll leave you alone. Do us a favor. Leave us all alone. Bro, I just bought something from you. <laughs> that was rude. Got the new item. So good. I can actually breathe down here. Dragon mask seems to be holding up. I've never been able to swim this deep before.
That looks gorgeous. It started right here more than 30 years ago. Back when this casino was still called the Temple. One big day turned my fate around. But now, fate's dealt as cruel as hell ever to everyone. I have to turn the lights out one fi I know time. And the waters of my adopted home will at last run dry. Well, if a dream has to die, at least I can say goodbye first. Then you turn. What a hit in here. Guys, the visuals are just insane. It is absolutely phenomenal. Whoa, 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 what's that? What's that? Don't attack me, don't attack me. Oh, okay. Kill me. Okay, so it's above me. Oh, how do I get there? Oh man, I'm lost. This is this is terrifying.
be the maintenance station. But how to get in? Oh, okay guys, I think I'm <laughs> officially lost. Yes, I get this is Dune Hollow. How do I do the pump thing? Okay, here we go. Um, okay. I can't reach the ledge from here. I know something I can climb to get out. Come on, game. Don't be mean to me. Now you got me stuck. That's not fair. Oh, okay.
one node down. Better swim back up and find the access point for the second node. The map. The second load should be on the other side of the door. Get me to the second one. Not again. Just shut down the secondary node. No more water for the fountains. No more shows. No one left to appreciate them anyway. I'll never forget the city's grand new opening. The fountains had been bone dry for years. No one believed they'd ever return. So, as the first plume arced up in the dome. The domes, the water. He was responsible for all of it. A little bunch. Maybe that debris is weighing it down. Okay, I've taken care of both nodes. Now we just need to activate the emergency purge at the maintenance station. What? Oh, okay. Part of this building collapsed. There might be a way.
I'm in the maintenance station now. I just need to find a console to activate the emergency purge. Should be a console in here. There. How do we this place out? I did it! <laughs> okay. Now I can deal with that machine guarding the door on the other end of the dome. And once I get past it, I can get to what's waiting on the other side of the door. Poseidon. This'll break my fall. Unless the coach didn't get rid of all of the water.
was through there. Where did that machine go? Aloy! It's a miracle! Oh! Is this you? Did you lower the waters? Yeah, but there's a new problem. That thing's in our way. Wow. Yeah, it's gonna be difficult to get the embers with that around. As the scrappy band of adventurers beheld the beast, they knew what they had to do. What? Are you crazy? Hush now. She saved our Delph. Okay, then. Stay up here, and start firing when I engage. Okay, where are these guys? Let me chat with them. You guys all right? More than all right. This... You... We did it! <laughs> all the embers we could ever want, and it's all thanks to you. Very... Uh, heartwarming. But maybe we can just, you know, grab what we came here for and get out before any more of those things decide to show up. Now, now, shard counter. Nothing wrong with a little reverend. Though we should probably let our flame-haired friend get going. I believe she has business down here, does she not? Right, of course. You need any help? I can handle it from here. Very well. Well, we'll start taking some of the embers upstairs. Call her if you need us. Thanks. I'm getting a little hungry now. I think I might make myself a chicken sandwich. Well, that should be nice. A light Sunday lunch. Do you guys like chicken sandwiches? Oh, what are you guys eating? If you guys are eating while you're watching this video, let me know what you guys are eating. That be, <laughs> be a little fun in the comment section, right? So off to finding Poseidon. Okay. Poseidon should be hiding in some kind of processor. Is that so? There. I should be able to use that. I can't do it. I can't give up on this place. I'm leaving it. He was right.
I'm here to bring you home, Poseidon. To Gaia. Elizabeth Sobek, Alpha Prime. Master Override activated. Restoring the science of Origin's function to original code. Okay. Gotta bring us back to Gaia. So you do you guys play this game as well? Have you guys played this game? Are you guys waiting to play this game? Is my video gonna help you guys maybe buy the game? You should guys check it out? This game is fun. I love the original. I sat and played that game for a few weeks straight. Absolutely loved it. Like that game, if you like Horizon Forbidden West, I'm uh, sorry, <laughs> Horizon Zero Dawn, uh, I think was free for some time, and it, it runs at 4K60 on the PS5, so that should be fun, and that's still a great game. Like that game is fun. So I went ahead and got the collector's edition of this game, not the. Um, at the Gala edition, the collector's edition. Uh, and this game came out on a very special day. I will let you guys figure out why that day was special. And fun fact, the the Uncharted movie came out on that day as well. Oh, was well, it Spider-Man? No, that was Uncharted, yeah. Hey, how do I get to the elevator shaft now? Come on. Oh, okay. Stop confusing me, game. That's gonna break, isn't it? Oh, okay, guess not. Okay, make up your mind. Oh, okay. An elevator. No one must have built this before the place flooded. Nice to work. Nice not to have to climb back up. Don't break, don't break, don't break, don't break, don't break, don't break. And... Okay. Thank you, game. saw the embers as a child. I never dreamed they could be like this. Thank you, Aloy. Well, did you find what you were looking for? I did. And now I have to move on. Oh. Oh. Could come back when you can. I got big plans for this place. I thought you wanted to put on shows with the embers back in the clan. Oh, no. This is the show. Oh, can you imagine? Folks from all over the land coming to take it all in. Plus, some food and a nice place to stay. Not to mention a variety of entertainment. Uh, don't forget, 
Game's a chance. Plenty of shards to be had there for certain. <laughs> a new dream, huh? I am. Um, I hope you make it happen. Goodbye, gentlemen. This delve is a story for the ages. All thanks to you. If Moreland and crew is gonna stay, maybe I should come back and check on them later. For now, I need to get Poseidon back to Gaia. But with all the room things here, I want to look around before I head back. And with my new diving mask, I can swim as deep as I need to. Like at those deep water sites I found earlier. Welcome back, Aloy. I see you have recovered Poseidon. Aloy, can you come downstairs? Beta has something you need to hear. Okay. I'll be right down. Aloy, I have managed to unlock additional rooms within the facility. Got it. Hey, Gaia. Me again. Welcome back, Aloy. Where shall we resume? So, I guess Beta's here to stay. I gave her a focus. Told her to talk to you to see if she can help. She's... not what I expected. What were you expecting? I don't know. Someone more helpful, I guess. And... less pessimistic. It is true she overestimated our progress. However, it is also worth noting that her confidence in your abilities emboldened her to escape the Zeniths. I guess so. Give her time. She may yet come around. I should be going. Goodbye, Aloy. Daddy sure does love his little big man. She found that recording from the data on your focus. She's been watching it a lot. I think it helps calm her. You know, I used to watch this a lot too. Whenever I wanted to take my mind off things. Daddy sure does love his little big... But there's something you need to tell me? While you were gone, I came down here to check on her. Then we started talking. 
Right, Beta? She's been thinking about how to capture Hephaestus, and studying the data Gaia gave her. But we started talking about some other stuff. You know, just getting to know each other, right? And then she told me that one of the Zeniths might be different from the others. Tilda. You saw her at the Hades Proving Lab. Go on. On the way to Earth, the Zeniths never showed their faces. My servitor caretaker referred to them as my benefactors and promised I'd meet them someday when I had learned enough. And then, one day, a data channel opened in my training interface. In it, Tilda was waiting for me in a virtual replica of a house on a cliff overlooking the ocean. It was beautiful. She showed me paintings, books, media files. We met there in secret many times. But a few months later, it stopped. Can you tell us why, Beta? I found some data about Tilda at the Hades Proving Lab. I think she was a liaison between Far Zenith and Zero Dawn. She knew Elizabeth Sobek, that's for sure. Maybe that's why she reached out to you? What else can you tell us about Tilda? She... liked to talk about her paintings. What about herself? Did she ever talk about her life on Earth? How she joined the Zeniths? Something like that? She never said much about herself, and she hated it when I asked too many questions. But I think, back on Earth, she was an expert programmer, given that she built a data channel the other Zeniths couldn't detect. Is there anything else about her that we might be able to use to our advantage? She was the first real person who ever bothered to speak to me. I wasn't really assessing her for strengths and weaknesses. You said that Tilda reached out to you using a data channel? It appeared in my training interface as another assignment. When I opened it, there were a series of intermittent glitches. I realized they formed a transpositional cipher. Instructions on how to open up a new virtual space. When I entered it, my training interface disappeared. Instead of the usual holographic teachers and files, I was in a perfect recreation of her home. And you're sure the other Zeniths never knew about it? To them, it looked like I was still in training, toiling away, alone. So this secret virtual space looked like a house with an ocean view? I could see white caps and hear waves crashing on rocks below. And there were gulls crying outside. Inside, Tilda had frames that showed off her favorite paintings, changing at intervals to match the light. There was an armchair she liked. She'd sit there and gaze outside while I looked through her things. We spent hours in that house. I never wanted to leave. You said Tilda showed you paintings and let you access media files? Every time we met, she showed me a new painting. I, I think she was Dutch. All of her favorite pieces were from their golden age in the 1600s. Portraits, allegories, ships at sea. She had so many. Did it interest you? I liked her media portal. It had so much more than my training interface. Clips, shows, hollows. My favorite was this one called Second Time Around, about a family whose kid comes back after disappearing during the hot zone crisis. Right, but did this portal have anything about the Zeniths themselves? Anything we could use? Any information about them was redacted.
So Tilda set up a secret virtual space where she could talk to you, a house on a cliff. Then later, she cut you off. But other than the fact that Tilda knew Elizabeth, you don't know why she did those things? I don't, okay? I thought of every possible reason that would make her leave, but whatever I did wrong, I don't know what it is. When I finally met the others, she ignored me. I acted like the data channel never existed. None of this even matters. Tilda's the same as the others. It won't help us defeat them. Okay. Let's leave it at that, then. What's wrong? I'm trying, Varl. But she is tough to take. I'm out there in the wilds, risking my life every day, and all she can do is hide in there and tell us how hopeless it all is. I'm sorry, she's had a rough time, but she is really not helping right now. Hmm. You always seem to be on top of everything, so I sometimes forget about what you've been through. I mean, it wasn't that long ago you were so banged up you couldn't even walk. About that. When I pulled you out of the water back near the proving lab, you were muttering Rost's name. You never talk about him, but he raised you, trained you. You must miss him a lot. Of course I do, but I don't have time to think about that now. I need to get back out there. Okay, I'll keep working with Beta. Gaia says she knows a lot about Zero Dawn. And maybe she just needs some time to adjust, and then she can help us with Hephaestus. Sure. But I won't hold my breath. Okay, guys, and that's a wrap for today's episode. So we will be continuing this quest on the next episode. Alright guys, see you.